Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with the story of Apex Legends. Now you might be thinking, Pelican, you dodgy aquatic bird. This game's been out for like 15 minutes, how the hecking heck can it have a story yet? Well just watch because I'm about to do what all good YouTubers do and turn a small amount of content into a full length video. And if you enjoy this video, please text one of your friends saying that you saw them featured in it so that they come to try and find themselves as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So have you Legends ever purchased a full price game and been all excited to play it, but then load it up and realize that it's more broken than my parents' marriage was? Then after like five post launch updates and patches when the game actually does start working, you realize that it is infected with paid microtransactions? In fact, let's stop calling them microtransactions. Let's call them thought transactions because they are filthy. To put it in perspective, the senior managers of these big game publishers are getting paid anywhere between 500,000 to no joke $20 million each in annual bonuses. The actual developers who make the games rarely see any of this money. It's the shifty malackas in the suits who cash in. These huge bonuses have largely become possible due to micro or thought transactions. These days, if we wanted to buy, say, a blue t-shirt, a baseball cap, a weapon skin, or a bloody virtual fleshlight for our in-game character, it wouldn't be uncommon to spend about $10. What worries me is that it is becoming completely normal for full price games to include thought transactions. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is a full price game, and it has a $50 season pass, paid loot boxes, a paid battle pass, limited time exclusive DLC, LC and sells red dot sites for $1 each. I'm honestly quite surprised that they haven't added in an option for players to exchange one of their goddamn kidneys for a dance emote which imitates the developers laughing at their own fan base. Anyway, believe it or not, Fortnite showed the rest of the gaming industry how you can release a game with thought transactions and do it right. Make the game free. Like personally, Fortnite is just not the game for me. If I wanted to drive around in a golf cart like a lunatic and then dance on people's graves, I would drink a bottle of vodka, play 18 holes, and then swing by the cemetery on the way home. But despite me not being a fan of Fortnite, I respect the game's model. A free game that you can try out and play, and then if you actually like it, you can then optionally spend money to dress your character up as an astronaut, or a bunny, or the biggest virgin of all time, Virgin Mary herself. Look, I don't know, they've got a lot of skins now, but the point is, all thought transactions are cosmetic only and the game is free. I don't think I need to tell you how successful Fortnite has been and just how much money that game has made. It's ridiculous, but it never screwed us gamers, the consumers. Well, maybe a couple of Puppas and Mamazitos got screwed when their kids milked their credit cards, and actually the Fortnite dancing figuratively gave me AIDS, but you get the point. Anyway, developers Respawn were like, hey there gamers, let's make our own game and use that super successful free to play model, but make it a first person shooter game and call it Apex Legends. Now Respawn did one of the smartest marketing things I've ever seen in the gaming industry. They did quite literally no marketing. Imagine being the little genius that came up with that at the weekly meeting. I hope they give him a couple of free legendary skins for the Mozambique. So instead of traditional marketing, they flew a bunch of popular content creators out to their studio, such as Shroud and Jack Frags, and had them play Apex and record some footage. I guess I did not make the cut, which was honestly extremely hurtful. I cried for like three days because as an oppressed pelican, the gaming industry clearly isn't woke enough to recognize my struggle. But my tears aside, Apex Legends took over the gaming world faster than Poland surrendered in World War II. Like, literally. Apex Legends had 25 million unique players in 7 days, and Poland surrendered in 10. It seemed like every streamer and YouTuber was playing this game, and I myself downloaded it straight away. Now at this point I was thinking that the game was probably just going to be pretty terrible. I expected to play it for a few hours, have a few laughs, have a few faps, and then never play again. But to my pleasant surprise, the more I played, the more I enjoyed this game. Now getting a bunch of popular YouTubers and 
and streamers to promote the game was smart, but the real reason this game was an instant success is because it's free, it's damn fun, and it actually works at launch. I have been playing Apex a lot lately, and it just baffles me how a free game is technically running so much better than a lot of the full-priced AAA games I've purchased recently. Apex is honestly giving the middle finger to a bunch of developers and saying, hey, this is how you release a fun, polished game. Now, I'm not saying that Apex should win Game of the Year. It is Battle Royale only, so you either like that or you don't. And I also don't think that every game should be free and follow the Fortnite model either, but I just want what's best for us gamers. Whether that's a full price game that works well at day one and justifies its price tag, or whether that's a free game that gives players the option to buy things without giving them an unfair advantage. It seems like that's a lot to ask these days, and so again I will say, it's refreshing to play Apex Legends and see the game become an overnight success, especially as they are not extorting gamers or lying to us about what content will be included at launch. Damn, I got a little bit serious in this video, which is kind of rare for me, so I'll quickly bring things down back to my normal maturity level. Clitoris. Wow, that's comedic genius right there. What a great YouTube channel Modest Pelican Gaming is. Subscribe for more epic laughs. Thanks for watching, you legends, and thanks to my patrons who generously support this channel. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.